Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Currently, as many of you may know, on Windows 10 and Windows 11, there is an option that's been around for quite some time that lets you use the print screen button on your keyboard to take a screenshot, say, as an example of your desktop. Now, there are a couple of combinations available for this to work, depending on your layout and your setup. But normally pressing the Windows key and the print screen button to the top right of your keyboard lets you take a screenshot, say, of your desktop and saves that to your pictures screenshots folder. Now, currently in the stable version of Windows 11 version 22H2, if we head to our settings, navigate to accessibility, and on the accessibility page, we scroll down and click on keyboard. As many of you may know, there is an option available to use the print screen button to open screen snipping, which is off by default. And if we toggle that on, it now uses the print screen to launch this, the screen snipping tool. And if I just press the button now on its own print screen, you can see those options become available. And I can take a screen capture and a screen snip, depending on the different options available. And there we go. I've taken a full screen capture and a full screenshot. And then I can head to my notifications, click on the snipping tool, and I can actually um, save that to my local drive. And here is the screenshot I took earlier using Windows key and print screen. So I can save that to my local drive um, to have access to at a later stage. Now, currently, this could all be set to change because as I did post on last week, uh, Microsoft rolled out their latest Windows 11 Insider preview builds for the beta channel insiders. Builds 22621 and 22624.1546, which, by the way, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Now, in build 22624 in the beta channel, Microsoft has uh, introduced a new option where now pressing the print screen key on your keyboard will now open the snipping tool by default instead of the screen snip tool. And um, if we just head back to the same setting in the stable version, so what's going to happen here uh, in the future when this and if this does roll out to a stable version, um, this is going to change from use the print screen button to open screen snipping to, and it's going to change to use the print screen button to open snipping tool. So when you toggle this on, um, it will now, when you, you when you press the print screen, it will, instead of opening the screen snip, what it'll do now is it will open the snipping tool. And that's been tested now uh, in the beta channel. So pressing print screen on your keyboard will open the snipping tool. And because it's in the beta channel now, and there's a good chance that this will be an option available that will roll out with the Moment 3 update expected to roll out in May and June of this year, 2023. And um, as I've mentioned previously, I think the Moment 3 update will start rolling out at the end of May. So that could be an option available uh, in Moment 3, the third wave of new features coming to the stable version of Windows 11 22H2, where this current option, use the print screen button to open screen snipping, will be changed to um, snipping tool and that will launch the snipping tool in Windows 11. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.